you're probably watching this video because you've seen a chain lee and you want to see one tricked out. You've come to the right place. So you might be interested to know where my Chang Lee story began. So a little while ago, one of my good buddies called me up and he's like, hey, I just got these two cars from China. So we took these two little China cars and start racing around the parking lot. These things are a really weird mix of like a golf cart and a car. And in China, they probably actually are real cars. If you tried to drive one of these suckers around in a city street, you would get creamed. One day my brother-in-law and I decided we should have an extreme hill climb challenge. So we took it out to this part in the trail where there's kind of like a steep hill and then it makes a sharp turn at the top. And we were challenging each other to see who could make it the farthest. It was pretty clear that these cars just didn't have enough traction. So what do you do in that situation? I convinced my buddy that he needed to let me put some big four-wheeler tires and a lift kit on this. I've been in golf carts before, but something about this is just kind of weird and funny, and it makes it fun. It's just kind of unique. It does have two gears, and that's really useful because like when you go to park it in your driveway or, or you have to like maneuver over some gravel or something, that low gear really comes in handy because these things have like no torque in high gear. Most of the time I've had this car, I have been pushing it to see what it can do. We drive it off road just about all the time on this little trail by my house. We did put a giant stereo in one of them. Um, it's in the red one. So this one will get its stereo later. So you may have also noticed in the footage that there's like a chain drive and an extra motor under the undercarriage. If you want to see how that magic happened, um, leave a comment in the description below and I'll be sure to post a video on how I took the core out of the original motor and created a chain drive so that I could add whatever motor I wanted on later. As I may have mentioned before, I do hope to be able to throw a 420cc Harbor Freight Predator engine with a CVT drive. As even with that um, 3 kilowatt motor that I put on there, and I'll also link to that in the description below, and a Kelly motor controller that's pushing out like 200 amps at peak. Um, and frying wires and stuff like that. Um, this thing's still not what it needs to be. So I plan on switching to gas or bigger electric. If you wanna see all that happen, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll be sure to keep you updated. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.